J Rod. What's up, man? Cool, I bless you with a haircut. Of course, my man. Come on, my friend. Let's do it, man. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Julio. Today's episode is gonna be really special. I'm gonna be blessed with a really nice haircut by Big Blends, the greatest. So I'm excited. I'm excited for that. So I hope you guys like it along. I hope you guys like it. And let's get right into it. All right, man. Oh, nah, I'm about to get you right. <laughs> That's about to be the one, man. If you were born in the Dominican Republic, the first thing they say, oh, he's going to be a baseball player. I remember my dad was the one that put me into it. Like, probably like two, three years old, and yeah, I was already swinging the bat with him. Now, how many how many people in your hometown? Uh, Around maybe 20,000, maybe. But I read somewhere that you donated the first ambulance to your hometown. Yeah, it happened at the end of first year in the big leagues. I was able to, to do that. My mom was the one that actually told me about it. And once we donated, Literally the day after, there was somebody that had an accident. Yeah. So they were able to like use the ambulance to uh, take the person to the hospital and everything like that. And like it was good that I was able to, you know, like be able to be here by the same time, be able to give back. I don't know how hard it is the situation of my town. So I feel like I can sympathize with it. To be able to give back, to be able to give like more opportunities. I feel like it's always huge to give the the right people, the right tools to kind of work with, you know? Yeah. When you were growing up and imagine being pro, what position did you imagine playing? I just wanted to have a chance, honestly. I just wanted to have a chance. Any position. You know, I played a lot of different positions, bro. I was even as, as a catcher, too. I was a catcher. I was an infielder. I played the corner, too. Man, I would play every single position, I would say. My dad thought that I was really good at the catcher, that I could have made it. And he, he, he worked me out. He helped me out a lot. Something that he will always tell me, if you if it's working, not change. That can't be applied to so many things, who your personality, to who you are as a person, to who you are on the field. Like don't ever change. You don't need to change. You are who you are. Yeah, what got you there always gonna keep you there. That's something that he always would tell me. That's something that I still keep with me. What was it about Seattle that you loved the most? Once I got to the day with the Mariners and talked to them, I started listening and everything. I just felt like I just want to, I want to be here because I think they're going to help me develop in the way that I want. Yeah. I'm a Red Sox fan. My dad grew up in Boston, so mm -hmm. big poppy, yeah, big mm -hmm. mommy, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Guys like that definitely like set, set, set themselves apart. And like, you know, they, they have that dog in them, honestly. <laughs> a lot of people play for different reasons, but when you hear somebody passionate about the game and the craft, like, that's a different type of player. I mean, bro, I've been doing this since I was a kid, bro. So, like, this is kind of what I learned. How I fell in love with it was just playing with my friends, you know, like, having fun and just trying to get better every day. And being able to be at the Mariners and just being able to be mentored by guys like Ken Griffey, what have you learned from somebody like that being in your mentorship now? I mean, you know, like, they they went through it before before I did it. I feel like that's one of the things I learned from the like from let's say each year old, like that's kind of like like playing guys partner. He's a really good, really good friends. That's somebody that truly loved the game. Anyway, he's 50. He's about to be 51, bro. And he is still is going out and he's still playing guys to a 23 year old, bro. And like going long toss, showing up every single day. Like that's something that even for like young people, it's tough to lose. That's somebody that shows like how far you can really take it. And you want rookie of the year? Your rookie rookie season? Yeah, yeah. What did that feel like? I mean, it felt really good. It felt pretty rewarding, honestly. Was that your goal? Ah, uh, nah, bro. I wanted to break the the curse. That's what, that was my goal, bro. The Mariners didn't make the playoffs for like 20 years, 21, 20, something like that. That was my goal. If you play to win, like for like everything. You sort of fall into place. What we what we saw that happen in the other people, all the fans, how they were. There was people that they had never seen that in their whole life. Uh, you got to give them that. You know, that was cool. Up. It was cool. What, what kind of music you listen to? Obviously, like Latin music, from like rap to jazz rap to salsa to bachata. What you listen to for rap? I've been listening a lot to this Killer Mike album. Like, that album is good. It's a pretty relatable album, though, too. Hey, outside of baseball, what do you do? What do you, what do you enjoy doing? I play Call of Duty, bro. What do you drop? How many kills are you dropping, though? I mean, I'm consistent, like, from like an 8 to 12. And then I would drop a 20 here and there. Hey, the 12 is cool. I'd be carrying this dude. No way. My backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Carry this dude all day. 
We're gonna have to get on the game. We play Xbox or PlayStation. I play I actually the PC. Oh, now you really like that. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> the PC's crazy. I told you, bro, I'm like that. I play always my boy Khalifa. Yeah, he's Dominican though. That like, we always be running there. I never been to Seattle either. Well, what's the city like? It rains a good amount of time. The rain is real. That people talk about the rain all the time. It rains, but like I always tell them, like I'm always under the roof, so I don't really feel the rain. And there was no, there are nice hikings, and there's a lot of those little places to eat. I like to go to this restaurant. It's called Ascent. They have nice views. It's a really nice pool. I'm a big steak guy. They have really really nice steaks over there. What's your favorite Dominican dish? Hey, my mom's cooking. That's the right answer. My mom's cooking, bro. Right? You can never go wrong with that one. Dominican food, though. But that's the deepest of the animal, bro. I just feel like it's not like the food itself. It's just like the way that they prepare it, you know? Like how fresh it is, how they season it. Like it's just different. If you go to, let's say, Puerto Plata, I feel like it has more of a, the country's flavor in a way. You know, it's like more cultural. Now I got the plug now. I got the <laughs> plug. You can pitch. I think I could. I mean, I have the hour for it. I How fast you need you to throw? I don't know, maybe mid-90s. So hitting yeah. 100 is crazy, though. Yeah, I'm 100 is crazy. That's gas. He's throwing gas. Is there is there a player coming up that you got your eyes on? There are some players. This really good friend of mine. I kind of like watching go. Same as Jordan Classic. There's some other, like, outfielders, too. That I think I think they're going to be good for our team, like, later on, too. And they prefer you well, too. That's what you want. Being a center field... What is the skill that you have to master the most? First step. Why? That was the most. It's the most important one, and where you have to cover the most ground. Every single bit matters, and your reads, bro. Your reads. I always gotta be on point. You think you beat me in a race? I don't know. Maybe. And look, it looks easy, right? I don't know. I said maybe. I'm from North Carolina. That's fine. A different kind of speed out there. I'm Dominican, though. That's cool. <laughs> If you won, it probably wouldn't be by much. You see, now he's putting himself down. Now. <laughs> I don't know. You went to the Super Bowl? I did go to the Super Bowl. This last year? Yeah. Eh. It was crazy to to watch my home is going crazy out there. Man, it's just like he just got what it takes, you know? You appreciate those things, you know, because you know how hard it is to, like, succeed in the sport. So you say LeBron better than Jordan? I like LeBron. With so many people against you, like, so many people with you, it's like, it's kind of like, in the way that he does it, it's just unbelievable. How do I say, can I give you a free haircut in Spanish? Te puedo. Te puedo. Recortar. Recortar. Ah, uh, you got to roll your R's for that. I can't roll the R. Ah. Uh, Gratis. Gratis. The best part is gratis. That's for free. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish was your first language. Yeah. So how did you learn English? When it first started for me, it was kind of like my mom. She had like this, like, learn English in like 100 days or whatever. And I feel like while we just play, play them and like just kind of have fun with it. Because we obviously heard like a lot of stories of players like having a tough here because they didn't know English and like things like that. But like my parents didn't want me to have that. You yeah. Know, they wanted me to be like independent in a way. Yeah, I wanted myself to be independent. I don't know. I like to connect with people, bro. Like, just kind of learn from people. Of course. And I feel like if I was going to play here, I needed to do that. But once I signed with the, with the Mariners, and I would just start speaking, bro. Like, well, I would say whatever. Like, talking <laughs> crazy, everything, bro. I would say anything. How do you want to be remembered as a player? Somebody never let anybody set their limits. You know, I feel like that's what I, I want to be remembered as. I wasn't supposed to play center field. I wasn't supposed to be here right now. You know, I feel like a small town and I had a lot of things against me, but at the same time, I just kept chasing my dream, you know? You're the one that persevered. And now you got a purpose greater than just being a great player. And that's what people are gonna remember you for. So you, you were always supposed to be here. You're exactly where you're supposed to be at, man. And you got a purpose beyond this. What you think? Me gusta, me gusta. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but I, <laughs> and they, hey, it, it don't look, it don't sound too good. I like it. The guy Ross. Come on. You did that. Come on, man. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Bro, bro, thank, thank you for you. coming out here. I'm proud of you, bro. Chest still, still, still. <laughs> nah, this is crazy. This is the only one I got ever. Hey, let me see your. Oh, no, he ain't touching 10, bro. He ain't not touching 10. I was, yeah, everything starts from the leg up. You always want to be in a good position for your leg. So pray and swing to the middle. Yeah, that was a little bit better. <laughs> All 
You're a good dude, man. <laughs> I gotta kill you on Call of Duty. So guys, uh, we just wrapped up the shoot with my boy Big Bless here. Sure. Definitely got the blessings for my boy. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everything. And stay tuned for more content. Stay blessed. Hours. Yes, sir.